It was a memorable debut, to say the very least, for Trent Frederick with the Boston Bruins, wouldn't you say? Uh, memorable for a lot of folks and for a lot of reasons. That was uh, that was that was old time throwdown. And that was his parents at rear, the end. Rear yes, back and uh, throwdown. His parents were hype, as Kevin yes. Lewis would say. But <laughs> Trent Frederick joining us via FaceTime on NHL Now. First of all, congratulations on making your debut in the NHL. Uh, did you expect it to go the way that it did, or were you were even you surprised? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, obviously my first game, I wasn't trying to probably get into a fight, but uh, it just kind of happened naturally, and uh, it, was, it was fun, and uh, hopefully it was good timing, and I thought it would help the team a little bit, so it was, it was good. So what uh, are your feelings now that you've come through your first National Hockey League game? Um, I mean, I was trying to soak it in. I'm still kind of soaking it in. It was a quick turnaround from uh, last night's game to uh, practice, but... Uh, you know, it was, it was everything you expect as a kid uh, growing up playing, the, playing to try to play in the NHL. So it was uh, really cool. It would have been nice if we got that extra point, but it was uh, living up to the hype for sure. Trent, we're, uh, we're, we're replaying your fight yet again. I got I to gotta tell you, when I watched it live last night, this kind of comes up in an area of expertise for me. I have some experience <laughs> in this area. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking, like, who is, what's the background on Trent Frederick in three, year, three years in the U.S. developmental program, two years of collegiate hockey, University of Wisconsin? That doesn't leave me believing this is a guy that's going to get into a scrape, not like that, in his first, uh, his first NHL tilt. Where's that come from? <laughs> I don't know. Um, probably a lot of basement fights and stuff like that. But um, you know, I guess I had a couple. I've had a couple fights in the American Hockey League. But um, other than that, I wouldn't say I have uh, too much experience. I was just kind of having fun and just throwing them. So it was, it was good. I, uh, I have it on reliable information that as a young boy growing up in St. Louis, Missouri, you played for Jeff Brown. Uh, his midget program, uh, co-coached by Keith Kachuk. I know Jeff Brown. He's an ex-teammate. I know you didn't get that from him. Did Keith Kachuk, have, <laughs> Keith Kachuk have any influence in your game as a young guy growing up? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean, uh, when it came down to that, I'd say, yeah, Mr. Kachuk was more of uh, that influence, and he liked the physical game. So, yeah, those two helped me a, a ton to get here, and uh, I can't thank them enough for uh, – just everything. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, the fans in Boston certainly loved the tilt. Every hockey fan on social media liked watching your parents' reactions uh, <laughs> in the stands. I know you've seen that. I'm not sure if you've heard it, though. Your dad was actually mic'd up in Boston. Let's take a listen to what he sounded like during the fight. Get it, Trent! Here we go! Yeah, here we go! There we go, baby! <laughs> what do you think of it? Does that look? Does that sound like your dad normally sounds like in the stands? Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't sit by him if I was anyone else, but <laughs> my poor mom. Um, yeah, I've never really mom. sat. I've never really sat next to him uh, in a hockey game. I probably won't for a while. Hopefully, uh, but. Yeah, he's he's obviously into it. It looked like he was throwing punches himself. So he's a <laughs> he's a uh, uh, yeah he's a great dad, and he obviously um, you know he he really liked that. So it was, it was good. It was cool to see that. Yeah, it's funny that they had him mic'd up and stuff like that. <laughs> That's good. I would say he was mildly excited. I mean, uh, above, <laughs> above average. Above average. But, but the other thing we took away from that is like this high five between your mom and your dad. I mean, there was a lot of excitement, and it was kind of a missed opportunity there. <laughs> Um, uh, give, me your, give me the breakdown uh, on that high five. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't, I don't know. They're, <laughs> I want to say they're athletic people, but they're not really repping the family too well. There. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was good. I mean, I, if you asked them, they'd probably miss it again. They love it. So yeah. it, was, it was fun. Let's talk about the the fit a little bit. I've been back and forth with one of your assistant coaches, uh, Joey Sacco, also a former teammate of mine, and they, he talks in glowing terms about your game. Play a fairly heavy brand of hockey. Possession is key. You can score off the rush. How is it? How's the fit feel so far? Kind of centering that line, Bacchus Heinen on either side of you. Yeah, I mean that's uh, it's nice compliments by him, but um, yeah. Uh, Bax and Heino have been great so far. I got to play with uh, Bax uh, a little bit in the preseason, so we had uh, I got to know him and 
uh, that was cool. And Dan's a really skilled player. So it, it's good that I've got an opportunity to play with guys like that. And hopefully uh, we can uh, create some havoc in the O zone and uh, uh, play well in the D zone and maybe uh, make some uh, effects here on the games here coming up. Our, in preview in the game yesterday, we showed uh, a photograph of uh, David Backus and you. You grew up in St. Louis, and there it is again. And uh, a little bit of younger version of both of you. Uh, <laughs> has he taken a lot of ribbing for this photo? I don't know. I think he's got good hair in both photos. If you yeah, ask there me. you go. Just there a change go. in yeah. hairstyle. It's held up well. Yeah, yeah. I don't. That was the style back then. That's that's good hair. I, I tried to have hair like him back then. So, uh, yeah, it's a good photo. It's pretty crazy. Obviously, he's a guy that uh, gave back. And when I was younger, I got the opportunity to get a photo and some autographs from him. So, uh, it just kind of shows the person he is. And now I'm it's crazy enough and lucky enough that I got to play with him last night. So. Uh, Trent, I was listening to David's uh, interview in and around the game, and he, he was really impressed with your instincts in all this. It sounded to him, or at least appeared to him, like the Jets were starting to run around a little bit, maybe take some liberties with your squad. Is that kind of part of the reason you get involved with Tanev in that scrape we saw? Yeah, it was getting a little chippy there uh, for, for a little bit there. I know Millsy had one. Uh, and then just happened to be that, yeah, it was getting chippy. There's maybe a little talk about that on the bench, and uh, it just kind of happened naturally, and uh, you know, I'm glad I did it. It was, it was good. No better way to endear yourself to your teammates. Uh, take it from somebody yeah. who knows yeah. about that. No, way, yeah, exactly. no, better way, no better way to bond yourself with the current club. Uh, what did David say to you after the game, if anything? Yeah, I mean, he came up to me and shook my hand and told me congrats, and uh, right. uh, that, was, that was really nice. And he actually gave me uh, – uh, the puck from warm-ups, which is uh, obviously a really cool thing for him to do. So uh, that just shows uh, how a great person he is and uh, obviously thinks for others. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, David Backus living up to his uh, stellar reputation in the National Hockey League. Mm -hmm. uh, you come from a pretty big family. You've got four siblings, if I'm not mistaken. Is everyone athletic in the family? Is this an athletic family? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go around pump my family's tires. But, yeah, we have some <laughs> uh, athletes in the family. Uh, my sister is there. Uh, she played uh, volleyball at Oregon. My older brother uh, played football at Memphis. And my brother is at University of Miami of Ohio right now for hockey. And then I got uh, two younger ones that are coming up. Hopefully, uh, they're basketball players. So hopefully, they can uh, make some noise uh, shooting, shooting some hoops. Well, listen, we, uh, we dig deep and do our research before we do an interview on this show. So we took to social media. We found your mom's account. And then we found her <laughs> business account. And she oh, no. <laughs> is quite a hat designer i'm not i'm going to mexico in two weeks i'm not gonna lie to you trent i could use one of these hats yeah. but uh give your mom a little free promotion here you're on national television across the united state united oh, states yeah. tell us about the hats yeah that's great she uh she really works hard on that stuff she uh she really does she puts in time and effort into those hats and bags and they actually turn out really good so um you know, I'm, that's that's good. I like how you guys found that. No, we'll try to hook you up with a hat or two. Yeah, they're, they're nice hats, but I'll try to hook you up with a couple hats. Hey, I would be so happy about that if you did. But yeah. listen, congratulations again on your debut in the NHL. You're, I'm sure, an instant fan favorite uh, in Boston for now until forever based on that tilt. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you for the time. We appreciate it. Best of luck, Trent. Yes, thank you, guys. Appreciate it.